Hi everybody, how's it going? Today I want to show you not uh, like a regular repair because this is actually regular mainboard. It's uh, a 1990, but we don't have a schematic for this board. The board number is 8200-1326. Uh, the board has some um, different GPU. It's a Vega GPU. And uh, I checked a few th a few things here, and uh, the part which is uh, actually the issue here is not that it's not on the schematic. So we have to work with uh, without the schematic. And let me show you what the board does. So the board. Uh, takes 5 uh, volts and 300 milliamps. It tells me something gets hot. Uh, I'm gonna show you what. Yeah. And take a look. This is a back converter nearby the Vega GPU. This is this guy here. This is this small guy here. Let me show you this with alcohol. Yeah. So first what we should check, we should check if there is a short in the rail. And yeah, the rails, this one and this one, those two rails are shorted. So, um, let me show you schematic for a um, similar board. So like you can see, this is a regular schematic for the regular A1990 for the 1041 uh, board. And here, in that's that part where we have uh, our back converter, here is the GPU RAM memory. Uh, you have four GPU RAM memory chips. So let's take the board out and see how the second side looks like I hope it's not the GPU, I hope it's uh, actually small short somewhere um, in the in the rails. So today probably we're gonna do voltage injection and uh, then we're gonna see. What is the real issue there? But maybe first I'm gonna take the back converter out from the board. I'm gonna see what is under, how the balls look like. Yeah, the board is a little dusty, like you can see someone was here before. They took the stick here, it should be like a sticker here.
I think you might see those discoloration here on those caps. It's actually because of heat. So the Vega GPUs there are getting really hot. Okay, what to do? Let's take that back converter and see what happened there. I see actually uh, I think it's a flux or something a little bit around the, the chip so I'm curious if someone actually tried to do that before tried to replace it I should have my coin somewhere Let's cover the CH here This is really good boy. The Vega GPU is really nice. Since we don't know, since we don't have a schematic and we don't know what the voltage should be there, when you're doing the voltage injection, you have to start from really low voltage. So I'm gonna start from actually half a volt and 500 milliamps actually every single voltage injection you should start from low settings but if you're doing uh, board repairs like we do here um, my, my low um, actually I'm starting doing that from 1 volt and 2 amps right away to see what gets hot in this situation we don't know almost anything about those voltage rails here okay three two one it does take half 0 0.5 amps Nothing gets hard around this GPU. Maybe something on the other side. No. Nothing. So... Let's go. 
slowly. We have one amp. It's just the reflections here. Let's see the other side. <coughs> Nothing. Okay. So one point five amps. Oh. <coughs> What's that? It's actually the coil. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna take that coil. And uh, I'm gonna solder the wire on the other side of the coil. Something around the GPU for sure. <laughs> Just in case I'm checking the rest of the board. Just a hole, so it's not there. Okay. Two amps. These are reflections. That's hot. Okay, right now I set up for one amp and three, or one volt and three amps, and still. Good.
<sighs> I wanted to show you something different than that GPU. Yeah, but what to do? That's not my day for sure. So we can't do anything more here. Actually, the GPU is dead. But right now, you know how to pro how to do um, voltage injection correctly. So you have to start from the beginning, like low voltage, low current, uh, one. I'm starting from one volt always because I know the rails here. I didn't know the, that rail, so I wasn't sure how much volt I can um, inject to the to the to that part actually to that line. And what you have to change your current to bigger, 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 bigger because uh, if the current is bigger, then more heat you're gonna have in the shorted place so i hope you learned something take care guys have a great weekend